things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small. <gasps> Hello! I didn't see you there! Welcome to our garden! This is just a normal afternoon for us. I hope you're well and enjoying the summer, and we want to welcome you today to the... Weathering Set Camp! Biggest quiz of the year! For answers, remember to click on the link. There's a link below. Make sure you click on it. There will be also a winner at the end of the quiz. Now I'm going to hand over to Jess for the first round. Bye! All things bright and beautiful. All creatures great and And welcome to the movie round of the quiz. I hope you're excited. I hope you're racking your brains to think of all these movies that Jess Watson might have picked out of a hat. Okay, so we're on to the movie quiz round. I'm going to show you two pictures and you've got to guess the film from the picture clues. Okay, so example here. You've got something that looks a bit like a, a megaphone with some sound waves. You're thinking, hmm, sound. And then on the right hand side, you've got a music note. You're thinking, sound wave, music note. What could the film be? Any ideas? Yes, that's right. The sound of music. The hills are alive. Okay, so you've had the example. It's now over to you. Question one. What could these pictures represent? Hopefully you know this dashing ginger man on the left hand side. It's not Ollie, I'm afraid. And on the right hand side, what, what what's his job there? What's he doing? Can you work out the film from the picture clues? And if at any point I'm going too quick, remember you can pause the video and have a little think about it. Okay, on to question two. Guess the film from the picture clues. Hmm. Do you recognise this dashing fellow on the left? He is sporting the hairstyle that my fiancé Jo Grimwood is hoping to have in a couple of weeks' time at our wedding. Very nice long locks there. Okay, if you haven't got it, maybe pause. And we're on to question three. Look at that mane. Very good. What could this film represent? Guess the film from the picture, Clues. Okay, and on to number four. Here we have a rather important man on the left-hand side that you hopefully recognise, and then a famous landmark on the right-hand side. What do you think the film could be? Okay. Question five. Here we have two conflicting images. The one on the right is Ollie as he wakes up in the morning before he's combed his hair forwards. The one on the left is me as I wake up in the morning. No makeup selfie. What could these pictures represent? Okay, over to question six. What film could be represented by these picture clues? Okay, next we're on to question seven. A few pictures here. Again, guess the film from the picture clues. What film could this be? And last but not least, guess the film from the picture clues. I hope I haven't scared you in any way with this image here. So here's the last one. Guess the film from the picture clues. And that's the end of the round. Cue the music. Woohoo! There you go. Joe says hi. Hi. Hi guys. Uh, what we've got now is the music round. Uh, you're going to hear uh, 10 songs, I think it is, played backwards. You've got about 20 seconds of the song to try and work out what it is. It will be multiple choice, so you've got half a chance. Good luck. I'm 
campers i hope you're all keeping well and it really is such a shame isn't it that we can't join one another for a normal week of camp thanks to this jolly virus but i hope you have enjoyed what we've been able to do with one another and that you're enjoying this quiz so far for my round you're gonna what you're gonna see is eight selfies that have been taken by your wonderful leaders um, they have been merged with a celebrity so they do all look rather silly what you're going to have to do is choose from the list of options um, as to which leader you think it, it is in the image and which celebrity it is that they have been merged with. Enjoy, guys.
Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the general knowledge round. Um, you may think that I'm here to do a silly quiz. Well, you're wrong. This is a hard fact, and actually taken all these questions are from Oxford and University Cambridge entrance exams. Um, so please, if you find them too difficult, that's not a problem. Try your best, and we'll see how we go. Uh, you're going to hear 10 questions. Some will be true or false, others will be multiple, multiple choice. Um, so, let's begin. True or false? Snapchat was originally an app designed to take pictures of French cats. Have a think. Question number two. True or false? It is impossible to play Jenga in a cattle grid. Question number three. Joe Grimwood is so clever, he doesn't need 3D glasses to watch 3D films. Question number four. True or false? Is Alan Sugar diabetic? Question number five. Name a condiment. Question number six. The J in JT stands for Jonathan. But what does, what does the T stand for? I'll repeat that question, it's a tricky one. The J in JT stands for Jonathan. But what does the T stand for? There is no point in reading a book because if it's any good, it will be made into a film. That one is question number seven. There is no point in reading a book, because if it's any good, it will be made in, in a film. Is that true or false? Question number eight. The lion, the witch and the wardrobe was the original name of the sugar babes. Is that true or false? Question number nine. <laughs> Nincon poop is the singular version of the plural Nincon pie. Is that true or false? So you'd have one Nincon poop, two Nincon pie. Is that true or false? And question number 10. A bit of a maths question, this one. A train is arriving at Norwich Central Station, but is currently travelling at 220 miles per hour. The train driver is 25 years old, and he drops an onion out of the cab of the train with a velocity of 3 meters per second. What number am I thinking of? Okay, that's the end of the general knowledge round. Fingers crossed you've done well in that round. And I hope you have a lovely evening. Good night. Hello campers, welcome to the last round of the quiz. This round is called the conveyor belt. I've constructed a conveyor belt in my garden. Let me just turn it on. Here it goes. What you're going to see is a series of people and items going along my conveyor belt, which is going a bit quick right now. Play, pay close attention because you'll be tested on what you see in this short clip. Have fun.